Hello, it's me, Purple Shirt Man, coming to you live from sunny Santa Monica, California. I have a question. Let's look at two things. Let's look at two things. Where are the two things, Proft? Oh, you got to find them. I'm not going to make it easy on you. Thank you, Proft. Here we are. Let's look at these two things. Thing one, I have a fish. Thing two, I have a flower. Now we know that fish and flowers are both alive, right? Or fish and plants, I should say. Fish and plants are alive because they have certain things in common. First of all, both fish and plants need food and water, right? Uh, fish need fish food and they need water, which they get from being in the water. Plants need food, which is sunlight, and they also need water. So they have that in common. Uh, plants and fish both grow, right? Fish start off as eggs and then grow into big fish. Plants start off as seeds and then grow into whatever they're going to grow into. Uh, they both move, right? Fish move by swimming through the water. Flowers and plants move when they grow, and they also move when they turn themselves towards the sunlight, which we've looked at before. We also know that fish and plants breathe. Uh, plants breathe through little holes in the bottom of their leaves. Fish breathe through their gills, which help them to get oxygen out of the water that they're in. So even though a fish is in water, it is actually breathing. It's just breathing oxygen from the water. Um, let's see what else they both grow. Uh, so, um, they both move, they both need food and water and they breathe. So that's what fish and plants have in common. So let's think about you. Let's think about you and a tree, you being represented by this little kid and the tree over there. What do these have in common? What do you and a tree have in common? What can you both do that tells us you're alive? All right, that's going to be your assignment for today. You're going to complete this sentence. I am like a flower or a tree because, and you're going to give us one answer why you and a tree or you and a flower are the same. What do you both have in common? You're gonna write that answer onto uh, a whiteboard or a piece of paper. Make sure that a grown up takes a picture of that and send it to me or Miss Dano. And this is a kind of an important assignment. This is, I don't wanna use the word test, but let's just say this is a pretty important assignment. So make sure that you do it, make sure that you take a picture and make sure a grown-up sends that in to your teacher, all right? If you have any questions, you can reach out through Google Classroom to me or Ms. Dano, and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have. There you go. So on behalf of Purple Shirt Man and Ms. Dano, Purple Shirt Man out.